I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we're working on restoring our sailing yacht. Some of you might think we're crazy taking on the challenge of restoring this boat and creating a life less ordinary. And we're sure there will be blood, sweat and tears, but it'll all be worth it when we embark on our epic adventure around the world. Jack cam, testing. Yep, that's on. Well, welcome to another Jack cam. Mum and Dad are down there just clearing up the ma mess that they've made. But with all the stuff cleared out, it's a, a lot more roomy. What does roomy mean? I just, anyway, there's more space now, which is a lot better. So, yesterday we had a mad tidy up, um, the back deck, the cockpit is still full of stuff um, which we've got to tidy up uh, but the task for today is I want to cut out some more panels on the underneath the belly underneath the, the lazarettes uh, there's two or three patches there that Melissa left uncovered these areas that you can see here Melissa has masked off when she painted and has not painted over them uh, because she wasn't sure if they needed cutting out and they do so there will be one two three that one's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's four patches on this side which need cutting out and I'm not gonna do them all four at once um, because I don't want to have to build frames and jigs to stop things moving, uh, but I'm gonna do them one at a time. They are reasonably big patches and I don't wanna be taking out too much in one go. Uh, there is obviously framework on the inside as well to hold things together. But the first thing I'm gonna do is drill out the corners of each patch to see where the drill comes up on the inside and have a look at where we are. I switched to the, man, the mains drill because it wasn't very kind on the battery drill really was it? So I've drilled my four holes for the four corners of this piece. There'll be another one there, we'll get to that. Four holes for the four corners of this piece and I've lined them up with the sharpie next thing is to cut them out but the hole saw again gives these radius corners as you know I'm not a fabricator or a welder by any means but everybody who's everybody who's anybody has said you must radius your corners so that's what I'm doing and from what I understand it isn't that if you put a sharp corner on something it's guaranteed to, to tear not so but a sharp corner it's a possibility it might tear, and if a tear is going to occur, that's where it's gonna happen. But it doesn't mean that, oh my goodness, if you've got a sharp corner anywhere, it's guaranteed to split in half as soon as it touches the first little wave. That's not the case. It's just that it's a, it's a little bit weaker than having radius corners, which kind of makes sense. Now that we've had the shot blasting done and we can see uh, the areas that need cutting out much more easily, we can cut out larger areas. Lots of people have said it's better to, to cut, replace large areas uh, rather than lots of small patches and that makes perfect sense. So let me ask you all a question. Here's not, well, let me ask those of you who are marine metal workers a question. Uh, no pressure on those of you that aren't. Here's the piece that I've just cut out, okay? And that was all pretty corroded. It hadn't gone through, but it was some really heavy pitting, okay? Now, we've got another area here, and we've got another area here. And logic would say, cut the whole piece out in one big go. But what I'm really scared of is everything moving, because what you've got to remember is, this is all directly connected to the support structures for the rudder post. Um, and I'm just really worried that if I cut out too much at once, instead of just doing one patch and then 
this one here and this one here and doing them separately and weld, cut it out, weld a new piece in, cut it out, weld a new piece in, that if I cut it all out in one big go, A, it's a much bigger, heavier piece of metal to, to manhandle into position, which in some ways is better because you've got more ability to flex a bigger panel. Mm. But the other thing I'm worried about is what happens if I cut that out and the whole flipping rudder post twists, uh, then we've got a real disaster on our hands. Mm -hmm. um, so there are a couple of places where I'm going to probably end up doing smaller patches than I would like or than less would, than what some people would say is ideal. And I'm just kind of, so long it'll all be strong at the end, it'll all be fine. I'm maybe just making more work <laughs> for myself by not approaching it the right way. I guess the right way would be to build a jig to hold everything together as we've said before and, yeah. and cut out you know the whole of this panel and, and build a framework out of box section to stop it moving but we can't do that. So, yeah. so um, we were just having a chat weren't we? Yeah, uh, whether just, we were taking that bit as well. So yeah so should we carry this bit on down here? That bit I definitely don't want to cut out until the rest is welded in because that is under the rudder, the, the framework for the rudder post. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to move that until this is all dead solid. But I might be able to cut this piece out and then weld a larger patch in there. Um, where does it go? Obviously, does it... we'll decide what we're doing in this episode. Um, but yeah. we'd still like to know your feedback. Yeah, by the time we get your advice on this, we'll have done it. So, But it'll be useful advice for perhaps the other side or other areas. Um, but there you go. That is the debate at the moment. So the deciding factor on our question might be, have we got enough still here at the moment to do the larger patch? So we've got our piece held in place, uh, we've tacked it up, tacked it up uh, using two trolley jacks and um, some lengths of wood just to prop it up in place and push up a corner here and a corner there to get it to, get it to fit absolutely perfectly. I'm, I'm really pleased with the fit all the way around, the gap's good, the fit is nice and flush. So now Melissa's going to go inside and I'm going to seam it all up. Just winding down for the evening, yeah. cooking dinner. We're gonna have a game of chess with dinner. Yeah. This is our new setup in the pilot house. <laughs> These boxes are really good. Yeah, they've got all our tools and they've become our table and chairs for dinner. And you can sit on them, they're really strong. They're really strong, yeah. Yeah, so you can stand on them too. Woohoo! Hello, there's gonna be sanding.
A lot but of sanding. A lot of sanding. There may be some painting if you're really lucky, but there's definitely going to be sanding. <laughs> red sander that I was using died um, so I went out and got this thing it was only cheap um, but it's so much better than the other one it's gonna make this a lot easier <laughs> A little bit more to go on this side but what is Jack doing to entertain himself? Jack has set up a desk and what are you doing Jack? Um, colouring and looking for these at the same time. What are you looking for? Oh, birds. Birds. No, not seagulls. So he sat at his desk. Colouring. Nice colouring Jack. Huh? Pardon? I said nice colouring. Yeah. The last bit is the tallest bit. So I'm probably gonna have to go up on deck and sand over the side for the for the top bit. starting to ache now it's nearly time to pack up for the day I found a patch I don't know if you can see it let me clear the lens I found a patch here that's clearly been filled so I need to investigate and see what the other is on the other side because um, you don't know what previous people have covered up um, and then what I'll probably do rather than take trying to take all that filler off is sand back the metal on the inside because there's only a thin layer of paint and just do a thickness test all over it. It may have been a previous repair or something or it could have been a crack to the paint that they've refilled and done. So but I just want to have a look on the other side, just make sure there's nothing untoward there. I think we've already, I think the panel is above the bed in the forepick, which means that we've already inspected the other side and it all looks good. But I'm just going to check the thickness. Yeah. What? I don't know. Well, that's the end of another episode. So haven't yet welded that patch from the inside, but it's too late at night to do that now. So we'll do that next time, uh, or maybe not next time. Also, we'll people soon. wonder why we say well, it's too late. We're opposite a pub, yes. and every time we finish work, they start clapping. <laughs> do they actually clap? They clapped last time. Really? We so we can't like. Lots of people are like grind your welds off when you finish. It's it's now eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock, and at we night. can't start grinding because yeah. they're all drinking their beers. And... We'd get lynched if we got the grinder <laughs> out again now. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, do remember to click the like button uh, and leave us a lovely comment uh, or a nasty comment. We like the nasty ones; they make us laugh. Um, and sometimes they make us cry. Yes, sometimes they make <laughs> us cry, uh, but mostly they make us laugh. And uh, yes, if you haven't subscribed already and you watch the channel 
I know it's a pain in the bum because some people watch it on their telly and you can't click the subscribe button. Please make the effort to just go in on your phone or on your computer and log into YouTube and click the subscribe and the little notification bell because it really helps yeah, the Jack's channel. Jack's desperate for us. We've got 15,000. Yes. But Jack is desperate for us to get to 20,000. That's his little goal. Yeah, 20,000 <laughs> subscribers would be amazing. So uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please do. Uh, and. Um, if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. Anyway, thanks very much again, and thanks to all our patrons and all our supporters and anybody who sent us anything through Amazon or PayPal anything like that. Or coffee, or PayPal yeah. or coffee. Thank yeah. you. And uh, we'll see you uh, next week. Bye yeah. for now. Bye. Bye.